Hey, what's up guys? TBL here, back on The Division. Yeah, that's a little bit unexpected, right? We're back just in time for patch 1.2, which has added a bunch of brand new content to the game, including some new search and destroy and high value target missions, as well as a new incursion, some new weapons, some new armor sets, and a lot of other things. Basically, there's finally stuff to do, and we're going to be going through just a bit of it. Today, we'll be showing off the new search and destroy missions that are available at every single safe house in the PvE mode, as well as the new daily and weekly high value targets. These are repeatable missions that will grant you Phoenix credits, high end, and set gear, as well as a new form of kind of pseudo currency known as target intel. Alright, first up, let's take a look at the search and destroy missions. In order to get these to appear, you have to be at least level 30 and have completed all of the encounters and side missions in a named area. This will grant you access to the search and destroy missions at the safe house board. Accepting this will set off a three part chain event that will show up on your map. The objective is simple, head to the marked point on the map and wipe out all of the waves of enemies that show up there. These enemies will generally be level 30 elite, so they shouldn't be too too tough if you're properly geared. Upon completing the waves, you'll get a notice that the area is clear, telling you to move on to the next marker. You'll also get some target intel points for completing these individual segments. Now, just because you're properly geared, don't get too complacent here. Some of these search and destroy missions are filled with elite shotgun rushers or heavies. But if you're playing smart and moving carefully, you should have these completed in no time. Once you've cleared up the third area, head back to the safe house that you picked up the search and destroy mission from to complete it. Turning it in will grant you a random high-end item as well as some additional target intel. So, good job agent, you've completed some search and destroy missions and picked up some intel. Now what do we use that intel for? Well, it's actually rather simple. Head back to the base of operations and head over to the security sector. Once there, you'll find two new vendors, one for the daily and weekly high value targets. Here, you can trade in your intel for missions requiring you to hunt down specific targets. Now, both the weekly and daily vendor will have several targets for you, with each one increasing in intel cost. And as you can imagine, the more intel required, the harder the target, but the more rewarding. You can actually get a pretty fair amount of Phoenix credits from this, and as well as some pretty good gear rewards. Daily high value targets will drop high end gear, while the weekly targets will have a chance at dropping in game level set gear. This is a great alternative way to gear up if you're not too keen on running challenge missions or the incursions, but pay attention to the minimum required gear score for these things. It might say 150, but you're going to want to be in a full group that has at least some high level players. We're talking 180, maybe even 190 and above. These weekly targets are level 32 and they hurt. I was able to handle most of the daily targets solo but it would probably be safest to hit up matchmaking for a group if you're going to try the weekly targets. But alright, let's show you how this works. We'll start off by picking up the Komodo squad for a total of 5 target intel. This will reward you with 15 Phoenix credits. Once you've accepted these missions, they'll pop up on the map with the same symbol as the search and destroy targets. Once you're prepped, make your way to the marker and get ready for a fight. After initiating contact with the enemy, you'll only have a few minutes to complete the mission. Thankfully, their format is fairly simple and is nothing you really haven't dealt with thus far in the division. All you have to do is take out a few waves of enemies before the boss eventually spawns. It's a pretty straightforward process. Now again, these enemies will vary in strength, based on which daily or weekly target you chose and how much target intel it required. But once you've cleaned up all the ads and burned down the boss, you will have completed the high value target mission, earning yourself a nice bunch of Phoenix credits as well as a high end reward. See, that wasn't so bad now was it? These new search and destroy plus high value target missions are a great way for lower level characters to gear themselves up. Which is in my opinion exactly what the division needed. As we've seen time and time again with looter games like this, you need to have plenty of sources for that loot. And that's pretty much it guys. Once you're done, you can head back to the security wing in the base of operations to pick up another high value target mission, if you've got the target intel for it. And then get right back to grinding away. But alright, that's it for this one guys. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully that answers some of your questions about the new high value target and search and destroy missions here in the division. There's a lot of other new stuff to cover and collect, and I can't wait to get my hands on all of it. But alright, be sure to let me know what you guys think of the new 1.2 update in The Division. Are you still playing it? Or maybe you're back on Destiny. Or, more realistically, maybe you're on Overwatch. I don't blame you. <laughs> but alright guys, I'm out for now. 
And as always, I am the Black Link. You agents stay frosty out there.